Welcome, welcome, everybody. Man, there's a lot of people here early today. It's almost like you want to win something. update gonna drop in a month. Goodness, we just had a lot of people join Discord. That's that's delightful. I wonder why that's happening. Welcome everybody.
Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are going straight into things right the heck now. Welcome everybody to the official Rockfish Game stream. I am your host and your guide, Eric Schrader, the community ambassador. Yay! Round of applause. That's, I don't know why you would applause for me. That's kind of weird. You just want to see the game? You want to win game copies? I understand. Let's cut to that. Oh my goodness, that's so much more important. But welcome to everybody who's ever seen the game ever. Um, I know that there have been a lot of you who have been patiently watching and just holding off on your wallet till the time is right. Totally respect that, totally understand. Early access can be kind of daunting sometimes, but one of the very big natures of this stream is to make sure you know what the heck it is that we're doing with the money that we receive. So this level of transparency, we hope that you understand exactly the opportunities that you should expect whenever you dive into Everspace 2's early access, look at the road maps and all that type of stuff. And if anything still looks super shady, you can literally talk directly to us about it. Like right now, like th this is a space for you to ask those questions so that everybody knows the drop. Cool. Aside from that, um, you guys wanna see the Vanguard today? Does that sound fun? That seems nice. That seems fun. Mm. Oh my gosh, I see. I see everybody is here to just have an absolute blast, including some trolls. And you know what? That's fine. You want to troll? That's fine. Just make sure that you're doing so respectfully. Yes, there is such thing as a respectful troll. Oh my gosh, that like brings back memories of like 15 plus years ago when uh, when trolling was actually a good thing. Oh my gosh. Anyway. <laughs> All right. No sound? Oh no, is the sound off? The sound test? You guys can hear my, my stupid voice, right? Bloodstar, can you ask if I can give uh, my entire income to you? Uh, you're not gonna want that. <laughs> Yikes. Oh my gosh. All right, yeah, let's get into this. Let's, uh, let's go into the Vanguard. Save file, Vanguard. This save file has been gathering dust. All right, let's just go, let's go. Mm. Here we go. Here we go. So let's talk about the Vanguard for a brief moment, uh, just so that everybody is aware of what it offers. Where am I? Oh my gosh, I it's I need to get out of here. Hang on a second, let's just, uh, ooh, what, hello there, lightning. But let's just talk about this crafty little devil right now. I went ahead and I, I painted this thing up a little bit. Um, I just thought it would be real nice and clean having a super reflective blue on it. I think, I think it's, yeah, I just, I, I feel good about this one. These are actually the tier two wings for the Vanguard. We have been hard at work to make sure um, all of the tier two variations of the ships that are currently in the game uh, get their updated models as well. And so I can actually say that right now, right now, they are all present in our developer yeah. build, which will be pushed for the update at the end of this month. So you will see all those little subtleties and nuances um, whenever even the new ship, the Vanguard, arrives. It has two sets of wings, in fact. Uh, the type that we're using right now, I believe, is called the Harbinger. So, uh, yeah. Fun, fun stuff. Somebody's like, Harbinger, what does that have to do with anything? You remember when we talked about the Cyclops bomber? Some of you recognize that term. That was distinguishing the particular variation of the bomber and its classification through the wings that it has. So you'll see more naming conventions applied to the various wings of the ships and whatnot. But let's let's fly this thing. First off, just, woo! Oh goodness. Does this thing know how to move? This thing dances all right so you guys thought that the scout was fast now this thing puts the scout to shame uh the movement speed uh let's just let's talk a little bit about some of the qualities about it i'm gonna move my face so you can see him even better oh my goodness uh so we've got a few ship characteristics about this the first thing and you may have already caught this a very clever eye look at this the upper left corner my shield is overlapping my shield that is because the special on this particular ship is called overcharge. And so long as you are flying above your normal speed, 
there is an overchar overcharge that happens to your shield up to 200% capacity. So basically that means it can charge all the way over the top of the shield once, one time. And that it's, yeah, it's, it's quite delightful. Quite delightful. Is the giveaway done? Oh my goodness. Hero FX, the giveaway has not even started, sir. You're right on time. Giveaway will probably start in approximately 10 minutes. Is that, is that right, Chuzen? Is that right? Probably about 10 minutes. So just hold your horses, everyone. In the meantime, just look at this beautiful little eye candy, or in the, in the case of this, uh, information drop. So the alt is called the Time Extender. Veterans of Everspace 1 will be rather familiar with this previously device, but now it is applied in particularly to this ship. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why we've gone in this direction, but in short, the Vanguard is meant to be an incredibly nimble light fighter that takes advantage of completely outmaneuvering its opponents. In fact, its expertise is rear attack critical chance. So simply by shooting the engines of your opponent, you will do more damage with the Vanguard. So yeah, literally fly circles around your opponents and when you shoot them in the back, you're backstabbing them. It's, it's wonderful, it's delightful. Very, very prominent and very powerful little ship here. Uh, you'll also so see that it says passive zero. That's just because that the Vanguard is not done. As always, when I'm doing these live streams, I'm showing you the bleeding edge development, what we have in the office space. So there are going to be a couple of kinks in the mix. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Otherwise, you can also see the handling of this thing. Woo! 860, that is not a small number. This thing uh, really likes to perform on a dime. It's rather quite remarkable. So. Uh, let's get back in here and show you just just a little bit of, of combat with the Vanguard. Just showing you how fast it can really fly. Okay, missiles. Oh my gosh, look at that tremendous amount of damage we did to that poor guy. Woo! Excellent. So that was quick, pretty short work. Very fast, very fast ship. That's gonna hurt somebody's eyes. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Let's take out these drones, little pathetic drones. I might have to make some enemies in order to, to get like a really fast action. Engagement. Oh, thanks. thanks. I, I really appreciate it. Hear my compliment. <laughs> oh my goodness, Hive. So, uh, a couple things to note. Um, some of you might have just heard that and been like, oh, so the voices are back. Well, technically the voices never left. Um, but I will say though, we are in the process of, if not, we've completed the process of incorporating new voice work into the Zarkov update. So we will have those lines of text that you've been hearing the text to speech. Those will be covered whenever we get to our drop uh, a little bit later this month. So that's also pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. All right, so you've seen this location before. For those who haven't, we are in the Zarkov Nebula. I can head right on over here. You can see we've been updating the map a little bit more. Uh, we are currently in a site called the Crash Site, and it's in the... Uh, Oh, shoot. I forget the names of these... <laughs> the regions. Oh, oh, no. I think this is actually called the Vortex itself. So we are in the Vortex itself. Um, I think this is the, the Dust Rim and then the Eye of the Storm. So you have three, three regions of Zarkov. Pretty easy to understand why and how. Excellent. Excellent. Um... Gonna end your friendship with the Interceptor. Now remember, again, that you, you do have two um, tier twos for all of the ships that were in the previous uh, drop. So you'll have Interceptor tier twos now to look forward to, as well as the gunship tier two, the scout gear tier two, the Sentinel, the Striker, all of those, they're also getting their tier two variations um, 
into the fray with the Zarkov update. But uh, yeah, but the Vanguard, oh my gosh, guys, this, this is, I will straight up tell you, this is my new favorite ship that we have been working on um, just due to its speed alone. Just to, due to its speed alone. I was a scout main in Everspace 1. Does that, can you even say that? I don't know if that makes any sense. Whatever. And this, the, it just, it kind of makes the scout laughable when it comes to speed. It's, it's, it's nuts. All right. So, um, we're not going to do too much poking around in here. I just like looking at a destroyed colonial warship pretty happy with how this has come out in the grand scheme of things. There's a lot of wreckage that you're going to find in Zarkov, of course, because, you know, it's a massive vortex. And you're going to have to keep your distance from these, you know. You know because they glow. Your gamer sense is like, oh, don't go to that. That would be bad. Exactly. You guys get it. Also, don't fly too fast inside of dust, especially in a little small ship, unless your shields are doubly overcharged. <clears throat> So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump out of this site. Gonna go to another site within Zarkov. And actually I need to check, I need to check one thing. Michael, did you even say that uh, I would be okay with uh, showing new music? I don't know why I'm asking Michael cause I'm just gonna show you guys anyway. But I mean, I, I figured I would ask. <laughs> It'd be the polite thing to do. <laughs> Um, as I mentioned before last week, we had placeholder music um, for Zarkov. And so, um, yeah, we, we've updated it. We've updated it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. <laughs> I'm pretty confident Michael's going to be fine with it. Just... <laughs> I like how everyone's like, oh, yeah, he says yes. Yes. Thank you, everybody who's closer to my boss than I am. Just texting him casually. And, oh, yeah, you got a yes from him. Good to know. Oh, that's perfect. Michael is in permanent face palm mode. I feel like that's the case. Yep. <laughs> and there's the official approval. So let's listen. Let's listen. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we're pleased with the results. Giho, thank you so much for maintaining excellence in all things. Oh my goodness. So yeah, there you go. There's a taste of Zarkov's new music. Oh, also there's a giveaway. You know, there's that thing going on that we're giving stuff away. So. 
Um, there's gonna be something super easy to do here. While you're watching the stream, all you gotta do is go join our Discord, discord.gg slash rockfishgames. And you are literally gonna have to click on an emoji within five minutes. In which case that five minutes starts right the heck now. I've put it up on the screen. So go click on an emoji. And if you click on the emoji, then you're gonna be put into the loop there. Also note, we are watching dupe accounts. If you try and be shady, you're gonna lose the chance from your main account as well. So please don't do that. Nobody likes that, especially us, because that's just shady. We're an honest company, so be honest with us. All right. So now that we're cruising to some music, we've got a giveaway going on. Let's go to another location. Ah, uh, let's see. We've been to par we've been to all these locations before. They've got new names. Everyone's like scribbling them down. Oh no, new names. What's it gonna be now? Um, I kind of like the gas field because it's got a nice combat oriented space. Um, you know, we actually haven't been to the smuggler's back door. So let's head over there. Let's go over there. We haven't been there before. Let's show this one. Let's show this one. Mm. Gosh, I love this music. Oh my goodness. I know that we had, there was a pretty intense conversation about music in the Discord. Was it Wednesday or something? I'm telling you, Gio won't let us down. He knows what he's doing. Dust Rim, that's what it's called. All right. All right, here we are. We are inside of a new site, a very large new site. Lots of vertical asteroids that you've probably come to know. The general aesthetic of Zarkov. There we go. Wonderful. Let's also take out some drones. Excellent. Everything's coming smoothly together. Gotcha. And let's pick up some stuff. It's nearby. Wonderful. Now, it is very customary to come across destroyed vessels and wrecked stations in Zarkov because, you know, a vortex. Uh, this site is a little bit further on the outer rim itself. So you're not going to have as much violence, turbulence, I guess. Does the Vanguard overshield charge if even if you're actively taking damage? I believe it charges so long as your shield isn't in a um, uh, a shutdown state. So should be yes, should be yes to that. So if you are boosting in combat here, let's just let's just show you. If you're boosting in combat and they manage to hit you <laughs> in a Vanguard hitting you that's funny um but if they manage to hit you yeah your shield should definitely just keep coming up so you go ahead and just watch my shield there oh come on i need i need you to there we go okay so yeah we got hit my engines needed to be uh, regenerated, but yeah, we're immediately recharging it right now. Excellent. So, I mean, the main premise is keep your speed and then you also gain defenses because of it, right? And that's really how the Vanguard is designed. Its defense is speed. Excellent. And I think that a lot of you are also um, gonna enjoy the look of the Vanguard as well. Like just, just looking at this alone, it kind of has a little bit of that outlaw scout vibe, right? And it also has an Okar sort of stylization as well to the swarm fighter. A lot of, a lot of individuals have already pointed this out, but I wanted to just, you know, confirm that, you know, there are consistent themes and designs 
coursing through the bowels of Everspace 2. Also, there's like 15 seconds left to click on an emoji in the Discord. So if you have not joined, you're going to need to get on that like right the heck now. Oh, I didn't update my sound effect for the, the timer. It's just going to be an explosion. Excellent. All right, so the key giveaway is done for the first round. That's right. That was just key number one. We've got three more keys that we will be distributing through the course of the stream. So just hang out. And in the meantime, we are going to congratulate somebody who just won a key. Susan, who, 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 Susan, help me know who won the key. All I see is a welcome channel. Ow, my ears. Oh, yes. Congratulations to Flory2931. You have earned yourself an Everspace 2 key. This gives you access to the early access on Everspace 2. And you will be delightfully uh, updated at the end of this month with all of the content that I'm showing you on screen as of right now. So something else I wanted to point out with tier two ships, we've talked a little bit about tier two ships. Um, something that I know many of you have already been like, oh, I, I see it. I, knew what I know what you're talking about. If you look in the lower left, I'm actually using three devices. I got three devices that are active, not just two, but three and that is straight up because I have this little number here that's up to three because tier two ships have three device slots so again this is applicable to all of the different ships if you're getting a tier two ship you get an added device slot so now you can have a few more combos to bring together to the mix right now I'm using a pretty aggressive combo all three combat oriented devices so that I can just plow through my opponents if they were only here. We're gonna explore this field just a little bit further. Ah, uh, yes. And this is certainly something I would recommend everybody do when you're in Zarkov because there's a lot to find. There's a lot to discover that's hidden in the gas clouds, in between asteroids and debris fields. It's where you're going to need to explore. Um, but otherwise, um, I do want to tell you all that even though my ultimate is charged. <laughs> and this this happened exactly with the gunship too. It's like we, we got the gunship in a state. We're like, oh, we want to show it to the community. Let's do it. Excellent. Oh, it's alt's not ready. Well, that's the same case here. Uh, <laughs> it's, not, it's not completely done. It's got some... <clears throat> wonky with it and so we're we're not going to show it off yet it's not ready but we will get there i can assure you of that let's disable this viper there we go oh ouch i just let that missile hit me there we go it's okay, it wasn't too much damage. But outlaws sure do like coming into this location, so we'll just hang out a little bit longer. Take some more guys out before moving on to the next. For anyone who's wondering like what the cockpit view looks like, you're gonna have a very similar view of the scout with this particular cockpit. Um, very similar to like how if you're flying a sentinel or a striker or an interceptor, they all have similar cockpit styles. This one's going to have similar cockpit styles to the Scout and the other light fighter that you will discover in the future. And of course, we haven't gotten to the customization of this cockpit yet. So there will be more to come in regards to that as well. Oh man, he's so little when you're zoomed out. I always I like to zoom in, the second zoom in option, because he's, su he's such a tiny little ship. I mean, look at how adorably cute and tiny he is and so freaking fast oh my goodness so um i think i want to find a base i want to find a base to land at and go through a couple color options just to really highlight the style of this and in order to do that i'm actually going to uh jump out because uh warp systems aren't working from zarkov to other locations at least that's my story and i'm sticking to it so let's head uh let's actually go to nefty's planes Good old Nefty's Plains, where you guys buy a lot of the tier two ships. And we'll flop around some colors. 
and show you what that looks like on the Vanguard. Just so you can see all those angles and how you're going to be able to tweak the colors. Any info about when to wait and for the next update? Yeah, so next update's dropping the end of this month. Um, so with all sincerity, that's not long at all from now. Let me even pull it up on the radar. The one, two, three, approximately three weeks for the experimental branch to drop. And then through the experimental branch, we'll make sure that all the kinks are worked out of the system. And the full launch will be that week, uh, the 26th through the 30th. I'm going to guess. It's just, a, it's just a guess. I honestly don't know the intended date drop. And if I did, and then I like told you, I'd probably get in trouble for that anyway. But it's probably going to be around the 20th to the 30th for the full freaking thing. Uh, but there will be an experimental branch that drops a week before, again, so that we can work out all of those details, which is approximately three weeks. Just three weeks. Three weeks. So less than a month, technically. That's... There you go. All right. So let's uh, check out the color palette going on here. Oh, and look, we can we can see a scout over there. That's nice. We can look at the other ships. Maybe we can see the other wings of another Vanguard. I think that would be fun to see. Let's do that first, now that I can officially show you. This is a scout tier two. These wings, I think you all have been flying the tier two wings on the scout for now. Um, and there's now new tier one wings, which I don't know if I'll get to. This is a bomber one. You can tell because it doesn't have these very large wings behind it, which hopefully we can show. Hey, look at that. There's a Sentinel two. It's got a bit more going on. You see more detail work on the sides, especially more engines. What else we got a striker two. Oh yeah. I think we flew this last week's stream, but the larger engines and the wings and stuff. Yep. Uh, oh yeah, the other wings for the Vanguard. Here we go. This is just a Vanguard one. Just the tier one wings for another set of wings. Or it. So if you don't like the style that I'm currently using, these styles would be here. Now the cockpit and the engines of this Vanguard and the one I'm currently flying are the same. The engines and the cockpits, the variations of those haven't been fully decorated yet. So those are still in the works. They will come a little bit later. But the wings themselves, we've got a few more looks and styles. And then here's an interceptor too. A little bit more decked out as well. I think we even, we, I think we looked at like this exact same one. So you can see tier twos have been uh, sorted and plugged in. You'll be seeing a lot more of them in the update the end of this month. Okay, so all of that being said, we want to look at the ship itself. Uh, so this is actually the original style of this ship that I got. I'm going to go ahead and move my face away because I mean, let's put emphasis on the ship, right? This is the original style that I got for the ship, the orange and the blue. And I was like, you know, that's okay. But I, I, I wanted to highlight the cockpit a lot. So that's why I went this direction. Super reflective, you know. Uh, but if we wanted to go like a blood star standard, ooh. Mm, I actually, I do like this. That's, that's pretty nice, actually. That's pretty nice. Um, but if we wanted to go in a, in a further customized setup, I mean, you got your main color, of course. Which you can do a lot with. And more colors are coming, just in case anybody's like, wait, you only have 25 colors? Yes, we only have 25 colors. <sighs> All right, anyway. Um, <clears throat> but I mean, you could, you could go kind of like, I don't know, Iron Man style if you wanted to go that direction. You know, make it more metallic, of course. You know, stuff like that. You know, whatever, whatever tickles your fancy floats your boat you know there's a lots of ways wow that is that is some baby blue that is ugly Woo! this is a highlight stream for the vanguard not a shame stream goodness let's fix that immediately uh let's make this like a, a silver finish oh yeah see nice silver that's too much for the showcase hang on let's just go with the white so you can see the highlight areas for the other slots Lots and lots and lots of spaces to make this ship shine. And again, there will, there, I'm like, I've already confirmed there will be even more color options in the future. Go something like that. This, this looks rather colonial, actually. Rather colonial. 
Give it a splash of, ooh, I kind of like that neon. Mm, that's good, I like this. We can work with this. Yeah, we'll keep it, we'll keep it like that bright leaf green and maybe make it like more plasticky. Yeah, all right. And then of course you've got your emissive lights. Uh, the noon skylight, this top one, to my understanding, and if a team member is here, please correct me, but I'm pretty sure that that light is only represented like right back here, if at all, and in the cockpit. So if we were to change this to purple, you're not gonna see any purple like at all on the ship out here, but if we're in the cockpit, you would see it. We will also have custom tools, so when you're changing the colors of your ship, you could see inside of the cockpit as well, for example, so that way you wouldn't miss this. But for now, we're gonna make this light green color. And the second color, we're gonna change this to purple because you can see where it's at. I'm gonna hover over it right there. See these lights right in the front, just adding that little highlight work. And then there's also a little bit in the back. Look at, look at these tiny little lights, do you see them? Did you see those tiny little lights? Yep, they are there. They are absolutely present. Believe it or not, these little highlights are kind of hard to see in a very brightly lit location like this. But when you are in the dark, they can make all the difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep the color theme alive. So we're gonna go with these neon lights, specifically lime as it's called. I will do that. Um, I mean, we could plug in a, a decal if we wanted to. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Go like that. And then the text itself we could make green and black. And we'll just keep that white so it's, yeah, okay, you know, something like that, I guess. Sure, that works. Actually, I don't like it. We're not going to put that on there. We're just going <laughs> to keep that off. All right, face back. Hello again. But yes, there will be more customization. Obviously it says cockpit here, ship modules here. Um, there's gonna be new ways to look at this screen as well. Oh man, everybody's making color requests so I'm not even paying attention to the chat. I'm just guys, look at this. Oh my gosh. Now also keep in mind, I see, a, I see a comment made that says, I think emissive lights should be more prominent. Some ships look like they don't have those lights. Yes, you're right. Um, also keep in mind that emissive light positions change pertaining to the wings that they have and also the engines that they have and also the cockpits that they have. And I can't show you all of the, the different variations right now because they're not all done. And in fact, these engines that you're looking at, these cockpits that you're looking at, for the lights and the heavies, they're also not finished. So there will be more detail work added to these ships in time, including where those emissive lights show up. So do keep that in mind in what I am showing you right now with these main color palette options here for this ship. That's the kind of thing to be watching out for. The emissive lights, it's a little tiny splash of color, but there's more coming. So don't worry, there's a lot more customization planned. It actually is kind of stupid how much more we're working on. So don't worry too much. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and take this, uh, whoops, I forgot to change the color. I just changed the, the, <laughs> the template, but I didn't apply it. Let's do that. I, I wanna fly this other one. So I'll change it over here. Now we've applied it. And we'll take it for a spin. Wow, all these guys are just getting completely wrecked by GMB. As probably they should, you know, since there's a lot of GMB guys here. This guy's really evasive though. I'm just gonna focus him down. There you go. Take a bunch of loot. Oh, we should actually, we should actually uh, drop off some of the content in our holds as well. We do have another key giveaway starting up in approximately 10-ish minutes. So if you don't have a game copy yet, you have a chance to win it just by watching, which should be a lot of fun. Can you change the glass color? Not in this version, no. 
Wait, did he just imply that you might be able to do something else to the glass color? Well, that'd be pretty dope, wouldn't it? All right, anyway, uh, let's go to inventory. Actually, let's go to the shop and sell some stuff. Uh, just get rid of bunches of things that I don't have an interest in keeping because I'm doing a showcase and I'm not fully playing the game right now. It's just kind of a trade-off of events that happen. Sell all of that. Much better. Much more organized. Beautiful. All right. Uh, Christoph Wolf says, what's new gameplay-wise? So the Vanguard in particular is offering a much faster approach to your opponents and it rewards you for your positioning. Uh, the main element of the Vanguard itself is that it gets a uh, rear attack critical chance. It's, it's underneath me at the very bottom. That's its expertise. And then it also has a time extender ultimate, which helps you get into position even further, as well as the ability to overcharge its shields just by moving quickly. So these elements are going to complement somebody who likes flying really, 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 really fast all the time. All right. Some classic Cedo music. I dig it. But let's go back to Zarkov. Let's go back to Zarkov. Let's go to this one. I think this is a, a, a pretty fun one to explore. Here's a, here's a question. Does each shop have its own cargo storage? Or is it your cargo shared among all locations you can access your cargo? Base, shops, etc.? In the current build, each shop is its own cargo storage. Um, we did have an issue actually with um, one shop in particular <laughs> um, in some previous versions. So we are, um, we're very likely going to be having updates to the shop keeps after a certain number of in-game minutes goes by and they basically refresh themselves. So some content that you sell, if you leave and then you come back soon enough, you can repurchase. But if you leave for too long, then they've effectively gone and sold that somewhere else and got credits for it, you know, whatever. Um, if you're talking about your home base itself, um, and then like your, your individual ships, your home base storage is basically you pour everything into it. And then your individual cargoes on your ships, each one has its own individual cargo. So if I were to dock at my home base with my Vanguard right now and move over to my gunship, all of this stuff would remain on the Vanguard and not move over to the gunship because they do have different amounts of cargo slots. Cool. So here in this darker location, if we, if we let the engines go off, you can start seeing those emissive lights quite a bit further seeing all those green lights just it's they're very subtle but it makes such a big difference especially when you see the front okay hang on a second let's turn the let's turn the lights off and there will be some ship designs that use a lot of emissive lights and then there will be other ones that use a very subtle amount of emissive lights there's gonna be all varieties there so that so some ship models may look more appealing to you than others and that's that's fine that's actually what we want <laughs> we want you guys to like certain models over others like that would be be great we've added a lot of that variety just so that you can uh pick and choose Scrap metal over here. Where are all the enemies in this location? Where are they? Oh my goodness. But this ship wreckage. So this ship wreckage, this actually, there's going to be like key parts of the story or at least minor parts of the story where when you're going to different sites like these, these ships are going to have their own sort of history. Um, they're going to have played an important part in events that have transpired. Maybe events that you will be a part of. Now, if any of my team is watching right now, don't worry, I've taken care of the situation here. Um, but there's like there's going to be some mystery 
and some intrigue and a lot of world building just by going in and accomplishing various tasks in spaces like this. It's it's hard to express right now because if I were to literally show you, I would be spoiling stuff that I don't want to spoil for you. It's meant for you to experience and that's the way I'm gonna leave it. But I will fly through this area because you know, there are hidden locations like this that can give you more loot uh, per usual in any sort of exploration game. Any ga Let me rephrase that. Any game that has any type of exploration bound to it, it's gonna reward you if it's done well anyway, it's gonna, it's gonna reward you for taking the time to look around, right? So here we've got some power sockets. We've destroyed that shield generator, so now we can see these containers. Excellent. We got a power core over there, beautiful. There are some new items that we're also working on. Um, I t I'm pretty sure we haven't put it into the build yet, so I can't accidentally show it, at least I hope. Um, but I know that you guys have already seen a couple of the secondaries that aren't done yet, and I haven't shown those officially because uh, they are still not done. They are very much so still not done. But there's, I'll, I'll straight up tell you, there's even more secondaries in the works as of right now, even beyond the ones that you guys have seen. Um, and of course there's more, there's more um, attributes to the ships. Um, attri attributes to the items, rather, uh, the modifiers. There's a lot of elements that are still coming into play that's going to shape and form your itemization as a whole for particular play styles. Like if you want to be really, really fast, like this ship that we have now, there will be specific items and modifiers on specific gear that help get there. Pilots on Steam want to see corrosion missiles. Excellent. Welcome Steam users. Let me, um, shoot, I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure that, uh, pretty sure there's nothing too revealing in my cheats. <laughs> I'm gonna go the safe route. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go the safe route. Um, one second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna generate some enemies here. So, um, if you guys haven't got into the discord yet, you can head on over there by going to discord.gg, uh, slash rockfish games. That's where the giveaways are going on right now. The next one starts in three minutes, three minutes. All you have to do, you just have to go to the discord. That's it. All you have to do is go to the Discord and then there's a there's a channel where you click on an emoji button. That's it. Do keep in mind, we do have moderators watching your general IP addresses and whatnot and your user IDs. And if you're trying to do some tomfoolery to win multiple keys, that's generally frowned upon and you could potentially get banned. So please don't be that guy. Let everybody have a fair chance. It's fun for everyone, all right? Cool. Uh, but otherwise, um, let me just get some more stuff going on here. Um, we're having some fun. We're gonna we're gonna make things uh, a bit more exciting than usual, I think. Uh, let's see, one of these and a couple of those. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see. Just, just one moment longer, I'm doing s sneaky things. I should mention that on all of these links that are on the screen right now, um, there's a number of places that we go and we share information and we also highlight the stuff that you guys have been doing. At the end of this stream, in fact, I will be showing off some very delicious content that members of our community have been hard at work on. So we'll do a bit of that as well. Should be fun. Um, and I'm almost done here, I'm going to get in uh, a really crazy situation, probably, and I'm probably gonna die, and that's, that's okay, it should be fun anyway. Um, so, yeah, hopefully all is gonna go well in this. <laughs> We're back, excellent! Oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait! One more, one more secret thing I have to do. I forgot to do a thing. I forgot to do, everything is fine now. Oh my gosh, you got double music. All right, we're good. We're good. Let's go fight some enemies. We'll bring them over here. That's a, that's a lot of enemies. We'll bring them over here. We'll use some corrosion missiles. I think we've got a nice meaty target in here somewhere. Here, there's, there's an outlaw bomber. We've got our lock on. We just need to take out his missile defenses. 
Oh my goodness, hang on a second. Let's regenerate our shields before we just immediately die. Whew, okay. Let's try and give him one. Beautiful. So you can see that the corrosion missile goes right through shields, right through armor. I'm gonna put a second one on to double up and ensure that he gets destroyed by it. Beautiful. Then we're going to start harassing everyone else. Also, we need to start the key giveaway once again. It's starting right now. You got five minutes to go into the Discord, click on an emoji while I'm destroying a bunch of enemies, being incredibly cheeky with my devices that I have access to. I'm pretty sure they're they're all gone except for this one bomber over here. Beautiful. Wonderful. So let's get back to the middle of combat. Oh, they're already they're already showing up. All right. They're here. We'll use a corrosion missile. Oh no. Did we did we hit? No, we didn't. There's a lot of Vipers here shooting corrosion missiles at me, so we're gonna try and... Uh, we're gonna have to take out the bombers again. Ooh! Oh, that's... that is nasty. We're gonna try and take out the drones using our Annihilator Virus. There we go. That's gonna lighten the load. Another bomber? Oh, how devious. Give him some corrosion to deal with. Thanks, Hive. All right, now we can give these vipers a taste of their own medicine. Looks like when I spawned these enemies in, they were a little too close. You can see that those corrosion missiles, they've torn them asunder, leaving them mostly ill-equipped for any further punishment. We've been finding so much loot. <laughs> it's actually absurd. Uh-oh, a third wave? Goodness gravy. All right, one second. Woo! Woo! <laughs> it's a lot. But you can see, like, I'm also, like, I'm mostly boosting through all of this combat. So you're seeing um, just how effective this ship is just by moving, like how defensive it is. So if you have a particular playstyle where you just like speed, maybe not necessarily has the best firepower or anything like that, but speed, this is going to be your friend. Going to be your friend. Just arrive, please show alt can't. Alt is not quite done. Anybody who's out there like, I wanna see the alt, show me the alt. I'm so sorry, it's not ready yet. This is the this is like the one thing that sucks whenever we're showing off all of these new things. Speaking of firepower. Uh, sometimes we simply can't. But we can't change our weapon. Uh, let's see. Mostly gonna destroy this stuff and destroy that and also because like we're hanging on to so many items that i'm gonna store for later we'll just store all of that in the home base see you later cleaned up our mess considerably and i'm just gonna destroy these nanobots nice clean inventory space now let's enter into the combat once again so i have Oh my gosh, these are juicy targets for this new weapon that I picked up because they don't have any shields. It's almost like I planned that. Woo! So the Executioner is one of the few weapons right now that does pure damage output. Oh, nice. Wow. Level 18, that's a, that's a high level. Excellent. And going through and we're blasting things with this weapon, 
because it's pure kinetic and there's no shields, it's doing a lot of damage to its target. And if I can get these shots off really well, oh, I got one really good shot in there and tore that ship apart. Woo! That, that felt really good. We're gonna try that again. We shred the armor off. He's gonna open up. And this one shot should take him out. Of course I missed the shot, that's fine. And these missiles are like following me or whatever. It's just like, lol. Like, see you later, missiles. Oh, also, that's perfect timing. The explosion indicates that somebody else has won another game key. Who is the lucky winner? Congratulations to Rick Steady. You have won the Everspace 2 game key. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. So that's two keys given away. We're giving away two more that have access to the full early access state of Everspace 2 and will have access to this in approximately three-ish weeks on the uh, experimental branch. Mm. Good, good stuff. So um, also I wanna take a quick moment to just give a shout out to the rest of the Rockfish team who is in here answering questions on the fly, directing me to anything that I'm missing um, as well as just straight up answering questions for you all since there's a lot that I'm showing on screen right now. Um, and uh, keep asking your questions. We will continue to get those taken care of. Um, how did you store items while in space? So there is a perk from the hive that basically whenever you get it upgraded, um, you can say it's an autonomous drone dispatcher, I think is what it's called, something like that, storage dispatcher. And you just take your equipment and you say, I don't want this here. I don't want to carry it because there's way too much loot to collect. <laughs> Look at all of this loot. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I'm getting some, I'm getting some Diablo vibes right now. I shouldn't be picking up the grays. What am I doing? I just, ooh, I just want everything. But, um, but like even with picking up Oh shoot, that's a straight upgrade, thank you. Oh, I can't I can't, I can't equip it right now because we're not at a base. Okay, hang on. Is that even better? Boost speed's down, but we're, we're gonna take it. We're gonna hope to get a boost speed uh, up cargo unit. But shoot, I mean there's there's so much so much loot. And it can get it can get overwhelming pretty fast. Um let's also change to a thermo gun, because why not? We'll keep changing around. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that I'm gonna hang on to my blood star energy core, my catalyst instead because i have a set bonus so we're gonna hang on to that um i say that and we found a better blood star catalyst so okay excellent this is great this is great i can't show that missile yet it's not done oh my gosh look at all this stuff more renegade plating that's even better than the last are you kidding me just it's just out thanks oh wait no that's the one that we put that's the one that we put on our ship herp derp <clears throat> all right uh, let's see, get the rest of these squared away. And then all this stuff, we're just gonna scrap it. And then the resources, again, we can just highlight them really quick and uh, send it to our base. Sending to home base, see you later, and we'll hang on to the consumables, that's what they're called. <laughs> there we go. There's still a lot more loot to pick up. Goodness gravy. Now, everything that I'm doing in the inventory though, I'm mostly storing and scrapping. I do not earn any credits at all for like what I'm doing right now. So if you need more credits for things, and sometimes you will, because your credits can be hard to accumulate in some regards. If you want to be like sort of a trader, you will be able to go that route in the future. Um, that's going to be through our trading and mining updates, which I don't think are actually on the roadmap officially, but that is going to be a thing. There will be trade lanes added. There will be specialty prices from certain shops, stuff like that. Uh, but do keep in mind that this is an added element onto the gameplay experience of being a looter shooter. So if you're looking at this and you're going, oh man, I want to, I want to be a space trucker probably not the game for you if that's what you want to do but you have an aspect of that that you can achieve that you can accomplish all right so want to 
want to clarify that detail right now so that I don't have anyone popping in and be like, oh, so I can basically fly a truck and I can do delivery services. No. Um, no, you can't. Want to see more blasting? Uh, let's go get this container from this uh, very dead ship. Mostly dead. It's still got some lights on. There's some drones flying around. There's some drones. Maybe there's an additional story towards this ship. Maybe there's something that I'm not quite showing you because I legally can't or I would be fired. Perhaps. Perhaps. Let's listen to some more Zarkov music. <laughs> I'll answer some questions as we're flying. I think we can go here. We can go to the gas orbit. We'll spend a little bit of time flying, though. Uh, answer some questions. Can you meet other players to battle out? Uh, Captain Rampage, this is a single player experience. That is the way that it was designed from the ground up. I will tell you the team, I mean, the idea of co-op, that does sound awesome. It's just not, it's not what we want to, to do with Everspace 2. Maybe in the future of more games that we make, we would do a multiplayer game in this style. I don't know, um, but that's not what we're doing here. So everything that you do is yours and yours alone. The persistent changes to the game world are because of what you've done. Uh, nobody else is messing with that. Uh, let's see. I saw a question about German. So the T Rockfish Games team is actually from Germany. Um, and if you are wanting German voice acting, I can assure you that it's going to be happening. It's just in a work in progress. We have to get all of the text of the game written out first and locked in place before we start, you know, recording those vocals. And there's still a lot more to the game uh, that needs to be shown, uh, that still needs to be done as well. So um, right now we are in Zarkov. This is going to be the third sector that we dropped to you guys. Man, this music. Mm. <clears throat> Anyway, so this is the third system out of eight that we are trying to get done. Um, you know, I'm also, I also want to just point out, um, I, I want to help curve expectations here a bit. Our plan is to get eight systems out at 1.0 release. That does not mean we will have eight systems. I want there to be eight systems. I know that you want there to be eight systems, but I want to make sure that you guys understand that the plan is to hit eight systems at the 1.0 release. There could be some changes there, okay? I don't want that to come as a surprise to you. I don't want that to sideline you, but I can assure you that if we don't get to all eight of those systems, we're gonna keep working on the game after the 1.0 release. Like, I'm just, like, that's going to be a thing that occurs, okay? So <laughs> just keep that in mind. Uh, but I can assure you the team is incredibly hard at work making sure that everything's coming together to do as much as possible and bring this all to life. So we're really happy with the position that we're in um, and Zarkov System 3 that's dropping at the end of this month. It's feeling pretty good for us and I hope that you're feeling pretty good about even just the music. <clears throat> um, let's see, did I miss anything in that coverage? Oh yeah, there's still a lot more than Cape coming. There's the, that's the point of showing this map. I mean, even with like the, the, the ships themselves and the devices and the conditions and the customization and all the freaking inventory stuff and the perks and the missions, I can't click this button because I get in a lot of trouble. The data screen, like there's, there's, look at how much stuff says coming soon on it. Like there's, there's just a lot more stuff that we've got to do um, to bring it all to you. So rest assured when I'm talking about like, the projections that we have and what we're working on and how this is all coming together we are doing our best to bring it all to life it's a lot there is a lot coming to this game okay and at the 1.0 release is when we're adding the language support oh my gosh why did it take me so long to get there <laughs> so we'll have full german uh voice acting um, at 1.0 and then we have a slew of languages that will have uh, been localized as well oh my gosh <laughs> that was like we're getting there and then i kind of went on a tangent you guys understand though it's a lot there's a lot of content that's the point 
There's a lot. And as gamers, you know that that's... I mean, this is, this is game dev. And we really, really appreciate those of you who have dove into early access and are like, yeah, I know that's what de game dev is. Let me test your game, let me break your game. Let me give you some feedback. Let's make it better. And you've been doing that. So thank you. Thank you. Woo. The level cap is increasing. Yes, yes. And in the, the current version that I'm playing, I mean, you can see it on the screen. Uh, the level cap that I'm locked at is 18. That could change, okay? That's, don't go by what you're seeing on the screen because again, there's a lot of work in progress stuff here. There's a lot of things that are just pretty to look at. And there's some things that will in fact be very different when we hit that update at the end of this month. But for now, I just want to show you this very beautiful area. Once again, many of you have seen this from screenshots, from the trailer, but just experiencing this here, let me hang on a second. Let me move my face again. I just want to let you guys just soak this in. That's just a little sneak peek. Can't show much more than that. Much more to do. Ah! That was the wrong button. There's my face. <laughs> much better. Whoa, okay. All right. Um, let's see. I don't think that our locations out here... Actually, is Hans Christian in chat? Hans Christian. I haven't tested the random locations. Are those good to use? Can we use those? I think I saw them earlier. Anyway, let's answer some questions. Yes, good. Cool. Thank you. Uh, so let's go to this distress, distress call. And somebody had asked if I could show the challenges tab. Um, so, sure. So I've been doing a little bit uh, in here. Um, some of these are going to be fairly obvious carrying over like Cedo Explorer to Union Explorer to Zarkov Explorer. Um, it's just asking you to fly around in super light and doing generic things. And the reward that you get is faster, far faster travel through those locations once you've completed it. They're not very hard to do. They don't take very long. You get a lot of rewards for it. And then it saves you a lot of time once you've completed it all. Outlaw Hunt is also familiar to a lot of you guys. You get this uh, pretty soon, uh, early in the game from the Flying Duchess, just killing outlaws. And of course, this keeps going. There's gonna be even more like Amateur Tinkerer here. There's just, there's lots of lots and lots and lots of challenges that are still in the works as well. And obviously with this saying Outlaw Hunt 1, you know there's gonna be an Outlaw Hunt 2. Come on, I know you ain't dumb. Excellent. So uh, let's head over to this distress call. Some places in Everspace 1 legit gave me chills. Oh, man. I think you're going to enjoy Everspace 2, then. We're under fire. Yes, you are. Uh, where's the armor drone? There you are. Let's get rid of you. Nice shot, me. <clears throat> I've played this game before, guys. I promise. Let's just use the thermo gun. <laughs> Who needs to aim when the aiming's done for you, am I right? Oh my god. Excellent. Man, I had so much energy for that weapon. Do you know why? I think we're clear. Thanks a lot for your help. It's because of a perk I'm using. I'll show you the perk later. Let's pick up some more. Wow, there's so much. Did we enhance the loot drops too? <laughs> I feel like I'm getting so much more. Oh my gosh. Anyway. 
But this is a location that some may call procedurally generated. Um, but in fact, each of these little pockets of space that you encounter in between locations in your travels, they're also handcrafted. You're just encountering them randomly. You know, you don't know if you get version one of 20 or version seven of 20, you know? And so you're gonna see uh, a lot of unique situations that are still intentionally designed to guide you through. Maybe there's something hiding off in the distance. This is almost like a little pocket of Everspace One plugged into Everspace Two, because we're just in an area that we have to explore now. But obviously there aren't any Okar chasing us <clears throat> right now. So you don't have to worry about, you know, moving on out of here. Excellent. And we'll get a couple resources to boot. I was gonna say this is an inefficient mining weapon. I'm surprised how well that works, uh, but we'll go with it. Also something over here, let's check it out. My face will not be a ship decal, and if somebody on the team does that, I hate you. I just wanna point that out. All right. Uh, Dr. Octo Rocket. Uh, yeah, similarly, yeah. Very much so. Uh, we've certainly taken uh, inspiration from the Diablo franchise. I hope that's apparent. Um, because, you know, we have all the axe swinging and the bows. Um, <laughs> yes, obviously, like, the looting mechanics and traveling locations. Yes, for sure. There's some inspiration there. For sure. Certainly wouldn't... Oh, it's... <laughs> Oh no, it'd be my face and the text would say toodles. Oh no. I hate how that actually works. You guys stop it out there. That's, you're nuts. <laughs> you guys. Wish list is better than no, thank you. Hey, yeah, absolutely. You guys, you guys wanted to fund that. Okay, stop, stop. You're having too much fun here, okay? Fun police are here. Serious stream. But actually, with all some serious, I wanna make sure that I am answering the questions out there um, that you guys have for the game space and what we're doing. So by all means, keep throwing them out there. Um, I will go to, let's, actually, let's go here. I think we added some new stuff, I think. Fishing perk. Oh my gosh, you guys. We had an obsession of people asking for input options so they could play a, with a fishing pole for Everspace 2. Let me tell you what. You guys are weird sometimes. I love you, but you're weird. There's a good shot. That's a clean shot. Feels good when it comes together. Boom! Oh! Mm. I don't even care that I got corroded. Bring the corrosion. Like they're all getting armored armor from the armor drone and like this weapon doesn't even freaking care. Look at this guy. Okay, I guess I guess he cares. But still, like this weapon. If anybody's wondering like what weapon are you using? That's insane. So this is called the Baron Executioner. This was updated a month ish ago. So it's not in the current build, but um at least I'm pretty sure it's not in the current build. But basically this bad boy only does kinetic damage. What that means, what that means is that its entirety of damage only applies if the shields are down on your opponent. If they even have one tiny little bit of shield point on their ship, the executioner is a completely absorbed, no damage goes through, all right? So you have to drop their shields down first, and then once you do, then you hit them with 149 damage. 
<laughs> Which is an absurd amount of connected people. Like, in comparison to this thermogun of 96 kinetic damage. Like, it's, it's pretty insane, all right? It's pretty insane. There will be another key giveaway in approximately five minutes. So for those of you who are floating about and you're like, oh, I'm here for a key. I don't care about anything else. Screw these developers. I just want their product. Um, slow down there and be a little bit nicer, please. Uh, that's pretty ridiculous, but I guess I understand. Free games are great. But if you are interested in that key giveaway, you go to the Discord, discord.gg slash rockfishgames to prepare for the drop. In five minutes, you'll get a Steam key that you can participate in the early access immediately, immediately. And you'll have an update to it in approximately three weeks with all of this content that I am showing today. Uh, let's see, I have a question. If you have a very high hit point ship, is there a huge nanobot that restores more HP? Uh, yes. In fact, the ship that I'm currently using, um, well, actually the nanobots were changed. That should be the better response. The nanobots were changed. So instead of them restoring a value, they now restore a percentage. So if you're using a low hit point ship, when you use nanobots, it's not gonna recover nearly as much in value because it's restoring that particular ship, okay? If you're using a larger ship, your nanobots are gonna be more effective because they're restoring a greater value there. This is in terms of balancing, 100% straight up telling you that, does it make sense in a realistic capacity for nanobots to have a smaller ship to repair? No, it doesn't. But if we wanna go on the realistic bandwagon, I think we're gonna see a couple issues with the game space. Um, so don't worry about that too much because balance for the fun factor is so much more important for the challenge factor it's so much more important as opposed to the realism factor which can in a lot of cases make a game boring <clears throat> all right let's i still i want to equip that so bad i got to get back to a base somewhere i got to get back to a base that's that's what we need to do um a coil gun let's try out the coil gun why not we're gonna keep cycling stuff so we can see other stuff actually a blaster could be fun too we'll do a coil gun and a blaster I really like that Baron Executioner, though. Hmm. We'll hang on to it for now. All right. More explodey boom booms. Beautiful. Oh, hello there. Oof. Good, good, good. Oh, good. We, we, we poisoned the turrets and we popped them all off. Nice. Not sure if that's intended, but it was awesome. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Don't think it's supposed to work like that, but I'll take it. Open up, please! Mm. Wonderful. So you can see, like, whenever those missiles come out of here, like, especially those of you who are familiar with, like, the gunship and the bomber, you know, when we're flying around with missiles on our tail, we're evading those with so much ease, like, I can't even, I don't even know where the missiles go off to because it's just absurd how quickly I'm evading them. Whereas when you're in a bomber and you're in the gunship, you kind of have to deal with the missiles. You can shoot them down um, or you can use a device that stops the missiles entirely or you can, you know, have your hand up boosting around, but you know, that boosting might not put you in the best situation because you kind of drift a little bit more. Uh, but still, I mean, the skillful, you know, bombers and gunship pilots out there, you're going to be able to evade, but not not nearly as easily as you would in something like the Vanguard. The Vanguard is the evasive ship in Everspace 2. Just gonna explore this area a little bit. Oh, look at that evasion. See? Super keen. <laughs> Whoops. <clears throat> you can see there's a there's a lot of hidden locations and whatnot on more debris, as you would come accustomed to as you continue to explore these very valuable sites. 
we'll fly through a little tunnel over here. Probably this one. I think this one has the thing that I want to show. Game looks awesome. Good. I'm glad that it does. I'm glad that it does. We've been hard at work to make sure it looks pretty awesome. We feel pretty confident that it does as well. Uh, there's still a couple little placeholders here and there and, you know, stuff that is weird. Uh, we'll get to it. It's a, it's a process, you know. You know the drill. Look at these guys. Watch this. <laughs> I'm a jerk. <laughs> Just take them out around a corner. No big deal. Cool. I wanted this shipwreck. Energy core, heat detector, excellent. I do have a very aggressive build right now, so it's it's not very nice. Like, we'll just uh, corrode that one away, and then we'll throw this guy around. He's not going to run into it. Okay, he's, he's skipping along. Okay, let's just push him back into the door. See you later. You can see there's like a, there's a lot of little intricate spaces to travel through this asteroid. And there's a lot more that I'm not showing you, even though my map is like, hey, go to all these locations. When, you, uh, when you're thorough in these environments, those indicators do go away, so you are aware. But they stay there if there's something to do. They stay there if there is something to do. And the way that I'm playing is not, uh, I would say, optimal if you're like an explorer holic. Oh my gosh, the timer! The t I forgot to start the timer. Hang on a second. There's like four minutes left now. Oh my gosh, timer! There's a there's a giveaway going on. Goodness gravy! I didn't explode, did I? There's a there's a giveaway. <laughs> okay, giveaway. Giveaway is going live right now. There's about four minutes left. The way that you can plug yourself in is by going to the Rockfish Discord, discord.gg slash rockfishgames. When you slide on in there, there's going to be a specific channel that you click on. There's an emoji that you then click on. It's like two, three clicks, one, two, three. Super duper easy, okay? Super easy. If somebody's complaining that it's too hard to get into this giveaway, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. So hopefully that's really nice and clean. Mm. Yeah, I got distracted by the game. Can you blame me? <laughs> but anyway, yes, the the giveaway is going on. I'm getting shot at because where where is this Weber drone? Of course, of course he has armor. Get out of here. Okay. Okay, so everything's gonna die. Perfect. Toodles. Perfect. And of course we're all full up again. Oh my gosh. Getting so many goods. It's delightful. The best problem to have. You know, if I was playing this game a little bit more realistically, I'd probably be in menu options like all the time. Cause I just am so adamant about my equipment. And I'd be like doing that thing where you're like, hmm, well this does have a much greater range and doesn't take into consideration that there's 500% damage increase. So technically speaking, this would be more akin to uh, 170 kinetic damage uh, in comparison of the weapon that I'm using now, but only at max charge. Uh, would that be something that I consider to replace my weapon with? Because the kinetic DPS could be a little bit misleading there. Uh, you know, th that's the type of player that I am when it comes to these games. So I am, the reason why this keeps loading up super fast is because like, I'm not taking that detail work. I wanna show you the combat stuff. I wanna answer questions. So that's why this is looking a little sloppish. <laughs> I'm just excited. I just wanna blow stuff up. <laughs> here, let's zip over here. If anybody's wondering, yes, there's like a inside a location fast travel. I don't, that's just, that was explained poorly. If you want to um, go faster in a location other than just boosting, you do have cruise drives. So that way you're not wasting your time, right? We want to give you the upper. We want to give you the opportunity to, to engage. I can't believe I was missing that target. Oh my gosh. We want to give you the opportunity to, you know, shine in the realm of combat and exploration and not have to think too much about it. 
when you're in the fray. Which is why we also have the options to very quickly scrap stuff, replace stuff when you just find it in space. You know, similar to what we did in Everspace 1, I suppose. There we go. Much better. Oh, that guy's behind a wall. Excellent. What's that? Tycheon emitter. We'll get rid of this speed word. Bring that over. Cool. I see a green. It's dark matter. Eh, I'm not too worried about it. Keep going. Put the shards into the perk. I will probably do that a little bit later. But you're right. I'm, pro I'm probably bothering some people so much with this little symbol right here. It's like, oh, your equipment's full. You don't have any room. Well, what can we do? I don't want to scrap stuff. I don't want to destroy stuff. Put it into your perk. Put it into your perk. Also, let's give somebody a key. Who just won a game key? Tell me who it was. I want to give them a high five. A virtual high five because, you know, obviously I couldn't do that. That is going to be Samico. You have won an Everspace 2 game key. Congratulations. Congratulations. So you can now dive into the Everspace 2 experience in a very fluid format. Even right now, you have a lot of stuff to look forward to in a mere three weeks when we go live with the experimental branch for the Zarkov Vortex update. Woo! Oh my gosh. Hello, do we have cats yet? I wonder how Alec feels about, about cats. <laughs> so if you don't know who Alec is, Alec is a companion that you meet in your travels. And, uh, He's of a race called the Horag. And just to be 100% transparent, he's very furry and some people consider cute. He's, you know, a very expressive, a very entertaining. And there are certain groups of factions that will uh, enslave him and use them, his, his species as pets, okay? Like Horags can be pets. Uh, yeah, sold on the black market. It's a thing. It's a thing for some races. So, you know, do we have cats? No. We have an entire sentient species. <laughs> Alex seems like a nice fellow that would eviscerate you if you cross him. Yes. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. My boy Alec. I love him to death. I'm so sad that he was captured and sold into slavery, but then was able to escape. I do wonder how all his, uh, tw tw what is it, 24, 26 children are doing? Uh, but I digress. Where can one get an Alec? Black market, we just discussed this. Come on, guys. You gotta pay attention in the streams. All right, let's see. Um, let's go to the gas field. Another little site. We're just kind of cruising around. We're just kind of hanging out. <laughs> I like the description I see from Valigar. He's a drunk, and when in get bored, he helps us shoot <laughs> other ships in space. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't call him a drunk. He just likes his alcohol. Okay, there's there's a difference. There's a difference. Oh, I like this question. So Paranoid Carrot. Paranoid Carrot asks, are alternative ultimates planned for ships? So let's break this down a little bit because this is this is a really great question. So in our designs, also, whoop, I lost a frame. Hang on a second, making sure we're stable. Okay, we're stable. Okay. But <clears throat> so let's let's talk about the ships a little bit. And I'm gonna hover over this. So this is the Vanguard ship specifically. The passives should actually say two because we are a tier two ship <coughs> but we are still working on the passives um so yeah that's the only reason why that's a zero work in progress blah 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 anyway so each of the ships breaking these down each of the ships falls into two specific categories the first category is their weight okay so you have light ships like the vanguard here right it says light 
See that? You have medium ships, you have heavy ships. That's the first category that they fall under, okay? And then the second category that they fall under is their class of ship. So right now we have the Vanguard class. There are nine classes in the game, three of each different weight, which each one of those classes has a specific ultimate that is always bound to it. So I know that you would love, 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 love to cycle out the ultimates, but those are bound to the ship class itself. However, that being said, the passives, which granted the Vanguard is kind of hard to show because it's broken right now, but the passives can add a unique twist to that particular ship you are flying because the passives can be different even on the exact same ship class. Two vanguards in the future could have two entirely different passives that shape and change a particular avenue of gameplay, of your playstyle. So there will be reasons why you would choose one vanguard over another vanguard, for example, depending on the way that you're playing. Also note that the specials, these are also bound. These are, you could associate these with the expertise a little bit, uh, but the specials are always specific towards the ship class as well. So you have specials and alts that are bound to the ship. You have passives that can be randomized for the ship. And then there's going to be a number of other customization factors in the future that I can't quite talk about yet that also will add that level and degree of variety between even the exact same ships as well. Um, I think that covers all of that, I hope question mark but i mean as you can see though like the difference between the ships isn't just stats it's the ultimate it's the special it's the passives that they have bound to it that's what's going to make you choose a ship over another and maybe also just you know the general aesthetic of the ship because i mean you like to fly in style right i get it you want your ship to look freaking awesome and there will be a lot of late game opportunities to customize your ship further so that you can not only get the uh the functionality that you desire but it will also come with the aesthetics that you crave so just more and more and more more and more and more that's what i'm saying i missed that bomb i want to try and catch that bomb why am i picking up stuff with the full inventory goodness A bad throw. Missed that one. There we go. I'm still picking up stuff, guys. I gotta stop. I gotta stop picking up things. It's just like you just see it and you're like, I want it. You know? It's it's like a natural insta pick up thing. Anyway, I shouldn't be flying through here because we might find something we're not supposed to. <clears throat> so I'll just leave. Excellent. Much better. Alright, more music. We have another key giveaway in approximately 17 minutes, but let's make sure we keep answering questions for you guys. Asking for some cockpit gameplay? Oh, all right. All right. All right. Michael, do you think we could show another location today? We could do another one. Like we go over here. That could be fun, maybe. We've seen this one in the trailers. We also have a little mission to do when we're there. Now the cockpits are not done yet. Uh, I do want to mention that. So like if we're looking around and uh, Actually, super light's a hard place to show the lack of detail. That's kind of weird to say. But like, you can kind of see like the ground is not polished yet. There's still details missing on the side. The window glass, the pane is kind of doing something weird. That's because this is just one cockpit style out of several for the scout. Even the graphic in the middle, that is a Sentinel graphic. Hasn't been replaced yet accordingly. There are still a number of elements that need to be adjusted and tweaked for that. 
uh, pertaining to the cockpit displays. So we are not done. Ooh, an outlaw base. This will be fun. But also, this ship moves so fast in cockpit mode. Uh, woo! <sighs> Excellent. Very fast ship. If we've seen it in the trailer already... Oh, so we can show two more locations. <laughs> Actually, we can show three more locations. <laughs> Mark is like, oh gosh, what have I done? Speaking of what have I done, oh gosh. Okay, so thankfully, most of them are down. Good, good, excellent. Woo! Look how fast this ship turns around. I mean, if this if this isn't speed to you, I don't know what is. Like this ship is just. It is such a fast boy. I guess it really shows up a lot more in the cockpit view. Um, so yeah, I'm glad that somebody made that request. Whoever it was, thank you. I appreciate it. And then we'll poke into some new places as well in a moment or two. We gotta take out this boss who's upset with us. We'll also just disable his ship for kicks and giggles. Lol. Oh, that stinks. All right, see you later. So much more equipment. I just want, I want to pick up all of these things. But I'm going to leave them in space and make somebody absolutely die inside. <laughs> like watching a looter shooter and you don't pick up any loot. Somebody's just like, no! Oh, don't do that! <laughs> Somebody's angry. Oh my gosh. I'm not trying to make you angry. I'm just try to, you know. Yeah, the maneuverability is actually insane. <laughs> oh my gosh. Another execute. Oh wait, no, that's the one that we found. No, I can't remember. I can't remember because I'm not paying attention to my loot. What a bad thing to do. I am not playing this game the way that it's designed to be played. Um, hmm. I do like the decimator. We'll, we'll change back to it. Cause it's got that beautiful sound. Impressive DACA, the best DACA. And then we're gonna scrap all our consumables because I just haven't been using them. <laughs> oh my goodness. That just made somebody else cringe, like, oh, why are you not using the consumables? You have so many of them, ah! <laughs> Play the game right, streamer! Goodness. All right, let's head over here and take out these enemies. Man, Vortex looks pretty, pretty dope from this site. Oh my gosh. Nice. There we go. Beautiful. Also, Bloodstar equipment, um, I, I haven't talked about this yet on the stream, so let me just highlight it real briefly. Uh, Bloodstar equipment, whenever you get their set, their raid set, um, you do uh, more damage while you're boosting, so long as you're using their Bloodstar equipment. So, because I have a Bloodstar weapon, it increases the damage by this by 25% while I'm boosting. So, I'm using a ship that is incredibly evasive and while boosting regenerates my shield and while on top of that it increases my damage of my weapon while i'm boosting <laughs> if you like small fighters blood star is going to be mwah. i could just straight up telling you it's it works so well together so well together all right we'll take out these last little bitty drones and then we'll be on our way. We're gonna get some more corrosion missiles as well because we are all out. And let's head over to the Union Border Control and show that uh, live for the first time in a live stream, actually. Um, it has been seen in trailers, but all oh, that music. Mm, give me that mystery. Scout is my first love, but this ship, ooh la la. Yeah, okay, so. I need somebody, you know the meme where there's like, 
you know, there's the, the girl behind, and then these, obviously you guys know that meme, right? Like, I, we need a Photoshop of, actually, no, I think we have that, don't we? Shoot, I think somebody actually did that already. We've got Adam, who's looking back at, the, like, the other ship, and he's like, hang on a second, let me, let me do the thing. He's like, and he, you know, you know what I'm saying? And he's looking at the Vanguard, and the scout's like, are you kidding me? Yeah, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. That shield supercharges bleeding in the cockpit. Congrats, you found a bug. Let me tell you what. <laughs> Let me tell you what. <laughs> Bugs are, um, they're kind of common for the Vanguard especially. Because it uh, has not been fleshed out yet fully. All right, let's uh, open a cargo drone. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Freak it. Hey, guys, this is a super fast ship. Watch me fail a navigation mission. Okay, we'll just go We'll just go over here. It's fine. Oh, hey, Okar, I didn't do anything. Nothing happened. So you do get a critical hit bonus whenever you're attacking the rear of a ship. Really? I didn't get I didn't get any? That's incredibly unlucky. We're gonna fight some uh, Okar because we can't. But this is the border patrol site, so you can see that even in Zarkov, the Okar do have jurisdiction. Making sure people aren't being crazy like what I'm doing right now. That'll be enough to take him out, I think. Oh, nope, I lied. But here you also get a little bit of a sample of the wanted system and Everspace 2. For those of you who haven't seen it yet. Basically, if you are a complete space jerk, then there are certain territories where the Okar are going to patrol, kind of like, you know, border controls style locations. If we go to our map, you can see that we've got this symbol here. Um, we've got a wanted level. Um, we have a, it's, a, it's like a push button pay bounty thing right now. Uh, this could potentially change. Um, I don't, th it doesn't show over here. Okay, so like Union, there's a lot of locations that the Okar actually patrol and protect. So if we were to go over uh, to some of these locations here, the Okar would not be happy with our presence and they would attack us on site, for example. And the more we attack them, the more they're gonna come after us. I think this warp gate's working now. So maybe we could go back. Okay, yeah, it is working. But this is one of the first areas you would encounter in Zarkov, technically. I mean, it makes sense. It's next to a warp gate, right? And you have this location challenge to inspect all the cargo drones. I gotta get, I gotta either get away from these Okar or just destroy them all. So, you know what we're gonna do. I will say, I think it's pretty hilarious that our overcharge uh, just goes completely past the indicator inside of the cockpit. The joys of game death. Oop. Here's a question. Why does it look like weapons auto lock on and lead target? So, um, the weapon lock on is actually the missile. The leading target is going to depend on what weapon you're using. So for example, the decimator, I am going to have a leading indicator that I need to follow if I want to hit my target because it's projectile based and it takes a while to get there. And now it's really hard because he's far away and he's constantly moving. And then you also have certain weapons that are hit scan, which means they instantly hit where you're pointing. So that just depends on what type of weapons you're using. 
Let's go on the Flying Duchess. Welcome back. Good to see you in one piece. Hey, thanks. Let's go ahead and quick repair, quick restock. Go to the shop. Wonderful. Um, let's just sell all of our stuff. But more importantly, equip our new armor. That makes me happy. And if you ever wanted to like rebuy certain elements, like your renegade plating that you just sold, you could do that. Uh, you can also look at your uh, purchasing options in different ways as well. Um, any of the commodities and tech resources and stuff like that, they're gonna be put right back into the shop. All of your like modules and weaponry, they're gonna go to your rebuy. And then you can organize them by item type, rarity, value, stuff like that. There's a lot of little, just little buttons you can click to adjust that real quick. Okay, let's answer some questions briefly. <clears throat> Do ships have cup holders? We have not designed the cup holders yet. I've never had a reason to attack Okar and get a wanted level. Are there plans to actually encourage breaking the law in the future? Uh, from Tiberius Assyrians. So, I mean, yeah, difficulty has not been entirely fleshed out yet, and there will be more difficulty options in the future. Um, right now, I will say that um, even internally with the Okar and the wanted system, like, we're happy with how the wanted system works, but you're right. It doesn't have a lot of weight to it. It doesn't really mean too much in the current state of the game. That is recognized by us internally, and we will be working on ways to adjust that. And we'll have more information on that when we get there. Obviously, we are fine-tuning and uh, fleshing out the rest of Zarkov, as well as the Vanguard, because even in its current state, I can't show you everything on it. It's got some issues, and we'll keep on keeping on so that when we drop at the end of this month, it'll be a good access to it as we move into new topics like the Okar Wanted system. Excellent. Freestone asked this earlier in chat. Let me read this block of text you got and see if I can help you out. And you're totally fine with chat protocols and all that type of stuff. Uh, if we miss a question, it's not because we don't like you. Uh, it's just because we get a lot of questions and there's a lot going on. It's, it's totally cool. Uh, so let's see. Um, expand on modify item choices. We're not... We're not done with the crap. I can just straight up tell you that uh, you are going to enjoy what we have in store in the future. Um, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> that was that was a big block of text for a very small question, <laughs> but yes. <laughs> I appreciate the question too. So if anybody's wondering what he's talking about, uh, let's actually go into this. So um, with modifying equipment, um, in fact, we could modify our catalyst because I think it's really good. We could increase its rarity by using uh, particular crafting resources. Whoops, that's not the right button. Uh, where's my, oh, that's the button. We could look at our crafting resources that we've built up through scrapping goods. So this is all the stuff that we've obtained from scrapping goods. Um, this scene is also not entirely done either yet. There could still be a lot of number tweakings. There could be maxes. There could be lots of other stuff that happens here, but we don't want to go super crazy with crafting materials. So you have to like organize 50 different things. That would be absurd. Um, but right now with modding, you can only do three things. One is adopting an item, which lowers the level by one. One is upgrading the level of an item and one is increasing the rarity. Now here, I actually have a hard choice because if I increase the rarity, and again, this is what we currently have. This is what it would potentially become. Oh, it's only the rarity. So yeah, th this would be a straight increase. Now, if we were to upgrade the level, Yeah, I'm thinking the rarity would be better here. So we're gonna go ahead and modify that. Boom. We have obtained a higher level Bloodstar Catalyst item. So now it's, now it's level 18. What 
What just happened? Bug? Bu found a bug? <laughs> oh, goodness gravy. Well, that's supposed to go up a level. Uh, <clears throat> I did click on the level one and not the... Let me let me try this again. Hang on a second. We've got this renegade plating as well. So, um... Oh, we can't modify it because we're not at a base. But let me go ahead and... In... We'll modify the blood star, but we're going to increase the rarity here. Okay, yeah. So we increased the rarity. Perfect. That's what we did. We increased the rarity, not the level. Guys, I'm a doofus. Anyway, yeah, so those are the only ways to modify items and equipment as of right now. But there will be more to that. In addition to that, there's also crafting in and of itself. So if you wanted to make something new, you would be able to go in here and say, oh, I want very specifically a pulse laser. Or I want an uncommon pulse laser, uh, which you'd have to unlock the blueprints for. This is from the crafting data that you obtain. My body's in front of it, but if I go like this, you can see the crafting data that you earn Anytime you scrap an item at that tier, you earn crafting data for it, okay? And then you would spend your crafting data to unlock. See, look at this. You unlock the blueprint, and it unlocks new blueprint options that you could choose from. So we could go the beam laser route. Then we could go, oh, say a scatter gun. Um, we could still go back and get like an auto cannon or rail gun, or we could go up to a thermo gun. Then we could go to a Gauss cannon. And then we could craft this if we wanted to, um, to replace one of our current weapons. So in fact, let's go ahead and do that. We'll craft a Gauss cannon, just like that. It's a real good weapon. Uh, we can compare it to our coil gun right now. Um, we can also, I think we can, can we, there we go. We can change it to our decimator, do the comparison there. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and keep this. We could dismantle this right now as well and be like, nope, that was garbage, I just wanna try again. So instead of loading up your entire inventory space with a bunch of things you've crafted, also, giveaway, oh my gosh, give, timer, go, go, start. It, it's not done, it just started, and by started a minute ago, goodness gravy. Shoo, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had one job. Anyway, there's one more keys being distributed right now for Everspace 2. Go to the Discord, discord.gg slash rockfishgames. You can dive in there. There's a channel for the giveaway. You go in there, you click on an emoji, and then you're registered. Oh my gosh, Eric Panic. Yeah, that's, blah, blah, one job. Anyway, but we created a Goss Cannon. <laughs> and if you didn't want to create and create and create and then load up your inventory, which would be super lame, you could just dismantle this and then try, ag try again. You could dismantle, try again, dismantle, try again. So you can, try creating various weaponry very quickly. Um, we'll go ahead and accept this one because I like it, why not? And then we'll scrap our coil gun. So now we, has a, we now have a Gauss cannon. Looks like this, nope, looks like this. I quite like the Gauss cannon. Oh my goodness, our energy core is actually too good. We're, I'm gonna need to evaluate the state of the energy core because I should not be firing this much. This is, this is a lot of firing with this weapon. Holy cow. I'd have taken out a planet by now. Goodness gravy. I mean, it feels good, but whoo, that was a lot. That was a lot. But maybe that's because of a perk we have. Maybe we, it's because of a perk we have, which I, I should actually, uh, I'll, I'll get to perks in a second, okay? I'll get to perks in a second. We'll just do a little bit more flying about in the Vanguard because it's fun and awesome. And this thing is just absurdly nimble. Oh my goodness. It just feels, it feels so good. And scout players, whew. like the scout still has a place. Like if you like long ranged weaponry, the scout's gonna shine, right? Cause it maximizes damage on that front. But man, if you want to like zip around targets close proximity and shoot them in the butt, mm, Vanguard's great. It's fantastic for that. It's so good. So good on that front. Mysterious musics.
Here you can see the cockpit's internals, like the blockouts a bit more. Just showing you that we have not polished the cockpit interiors just yet. They've been a little bit on the, oh, hello there. Hello there. Uh, they've been a little bit on the back burner. We've got, we've got some areas taken care of. Like, and these emissive lights, that green, those are because we chose the green emissive lights from the customization. Man, that blue glow is nice. But you can see there's there's still more detail that will be coming. This is not done yet. And that shield overcharge is amazing. <laughs> the shield overcharge, I quite enjoy. That's funny. All right. Very good, very good. Okay, so the giveaway is technically done even though there's a timer on the screen because I was so far off the timer. Who ended up winning the last giveaway that we had for the day? Oh my goodness. And then I'm also gonna answer a couple more questions. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sure you can make it up to us by just giving away an extra key. Oh my god. <laughs> Congratulations to X underscore LOL. You won the Everspace 2 giveaway! GG! Very nice. Okay, so I have a confession to make. I'm pretty sure that the reason why I'm doing a tremendous amount of damage is because of this right here. 20% increased damage energy capacity for each installed wear for your device. Oh my gosh, don't look at the screen. Just uh, freaking... Ha! Guys, I love you all so much. I want to show you the beauty that is your hard earned work. Let me tell you what, there are so many incredible things from the community that we love. It's actually amazing. It's so incredible. That's really what the focus needs to be right now. Oh my goodness. Let me just show some really neat stuff because no errors were created in the making of the stream. All right, so let me just bounce into this bad boy. We've got several wonderful tidied up fan art pieces from the community that I just have to showcase and brag about a little bit because you guys are freaking awesome, let me tell you. Uh, so the first thing out of the gate is this shot, which actually comes from Acid Iced and then was slightly doctored up by B.W. Lambert. Excellent. <laughs> and um, it's just good clean photos that you guys have been taking. That, re that are realized in just a beautiful light. And the showcasing of your work makes us so happy to see how you guys are embracing the photo modes and having fun with memes and all that type of stuff. Because like your stuff's gonna show up on Instagram as well, by the way. shuzen has been managing that like a freaking champion. If you're not a part of our Instagram, you need to go there and then like you can like your own images that you've been posting on our Discord. Cause it's insane. There are so many fantastic, fantastic scenes that you all have been doing. Uh, like this one, for example, this one comes from Excelsior. Uh, also note the glasses. Please note the glasses. I do love that very much. Little Rosslyn. Oh my gosh. Fe featuring <laughs> McDax. <laughs> uh, Rockfish Records. Yes. Mm, our parent company. Uh, parental advisory explicit content. That's also because Mike Damage is present in this uh, particular sound set. Mm? But definitely nice work. I love the addition of the shades. That makes me so happy. Let's go on over to Excel uh, again. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Look, okay. There are some things that we plan out, okay? I, why did I pick up a comb? I don't know. But there are some things that we plan out accordingly. Make sure that you're getting all the drops, all the details, it's a beautiful time, beautiful place, okay? I might look terrified there, and Michael might look like he's really pissed off, but it's actually pretty accurate. Let's go to the next one, this one. This one actually comes from another combination. This one's from Kazaa. He was doing fireworks at Prescott Starbase. Um, so pretty cool, pretty clever concept there. And then this one was doctored up lightly by B.W. Lambert. Giving it that good old Everspace 2 logo on top of it. Solid stuff, good representation of like all the effects that are going on, especially with the uh, mass kill pertaining to the Annihilator virus. Pretty, pretty clever, pretty good. 
Speaking of Kazaa, we've got a number of images to show from him. Actually, I lied. I've got one from him today. I've got one from him. We've got other people that we want to highlight, but this one does come from Kazaa. A nice poster-sized imagery of Everspace 2. Really great positioning of his interceptor there. It just makes you, oh my goodness. I, I, I don't know why I don't have all of your guys' artwork smothered across my wall in my office space. I really don't know why I don't, because I have no excuses. The stuff that you make is insanely delicious. Thank you for just pouring out all of your love and all of your hard work, because this stuff, this is so good. This is amazing. Absolutely crazy stuff. And it keeps going. We got Mysterious Mystery over here, who's like, oh, hey, I heard you like these sick, deep colors. Check this out. And he's like, just absolutely rocking it. Um, really clean stuff. Uh, so question, the question is, the music's a tad loud. Is there music? Okay, let me turn the music down. Okay. Oh, you're right. The music, the music is a tad loud. Is there music? Was that my question? Whew. Whew. All right. Anyway, check that one. All right, so the question for you, is this Everspace 1 or Everspace 2? Because if you said Everspace 2, you're wrong! Oh my gosh, this comes out of Everspace 1? Holy cow. Yeah, if you look very closely at the top, it says Everspace. But also, if you look at the ship, um, you can see that the, the model of the Interceptor here, this is the Colonial model. This is the standard Colonial model that has been upgraded a little bit. You can tell by the wings, but uh, it's a, uh, it's, this is from Everspace One, from Everspace One. He's got a number that he's shot from Everspace One, including this one, which, oh my goodness, Mysterious Mystery. Again, very fantastically well done. Like that is amazing. Such a good clean shot. I don't even know what else to say because you just, you do a very good job with capturing these scenes. That makes me want to go back and play every space one. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Uh, this is a unique ship skin that you can obtain through the DLC, if anybody's wondering. And I say that, and now I kind of regret saying that because it makes it sound like, oh, you get a DLC and you get a bunch of ship skins. Okay, there's so much more that comes with the DLC. It's like an expansion, okay? It is, it is an expansion to the game. It is not just ship color variations. I feel dirty for making it sound like horse armor. So just uh, just know that if you look into the DLC of Everspace One, it provides a ton of stuff and then a couple of ship skins. Oh my goodness. So very clean stuff, Mysterious Mystery. We're gonna keep going with even more from you. <clears throat> We've got this one, which is uh, also from Everspace One. Just great scenes, great, uh, great use of uh, composition here like this one this one's probably gonna go on my phone I'm really digging it feels wonderful and again you can tell it's Everspace one because of the interceptor model specifically the back the engines you can really tell from there but the interceptors in Everspace 2 I do want to point out the interceptors in Everspace 2 lore wise some of them do start from a colonial base but they are no longer colonial registered. They're no longer colonial official vessels. They've been modified. They've been mixed. They've been uh, all kinds of, of transformed. And so you're seeing the same class of ship, but it's not a colonial type. It's now got so many more tricks and tools, which is why you have variations of equipments on board. You have new devices that you can use, new uh, items, blah, 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 blah. There is an intentionality behind the designs. So a lot of what you see in Everspace 2, even like the same ship designs, um, they are new. They are similar to, but they are new. To honor that which was. Woo. Also comes from the original Everspace. This is a solar storm. Some of you might be wondering, well, are there gonna be solar storms in Everspace 2? And my response would be, that would be dope, wouldn't it? Oh my goodness. So. We've got uh, that beautiful scene there. So great, great stuff from Mysterious Mystery. Next, we've got one from Spoot Knight who's having just a little bit of fun. Uh, <laughs> thanks for this, Spoot Knight. 
you definitely gave me a, a chuckle. Uh, very, very good stuff. <laughs> so thank you for that. Just a nice little praise for you. I gotta speed up a little bit because my time's almost done and my wife's gonna need me in just a moment. So uh, we had another one we got from the Chemical Bro who made this. Uh, it's the inside of the Interceptor in Everspace 2. And um, he made a black hole because we don't have black holes in Everspace 2. And he's got some added details in the cockpit too, if you can uh, check that out. He always does a very good job with the detail work in his modified photos, which we'll go through a couple more from him, uh, a lot more actually. Um, he just, it's, it's great. I just love it. And if anyone's asking about like, will there be black holes in Everspace too? So that's been a point of conversation we've had for a while. It's, I can't say that we will, but I'm not gonna say that we won't either. It's something that will have to naturally fall into place since Everspace 2, the progression is very different from Everspace 1. In Everspace 1, it's a hazard that randomly shows up. You have to deal with it. Can't really have it randomly show up so much in Everspace 2 since it would be a well-documented celestial event. Um, <laughs> so if like you randomly come across a black hole, and, eh, so more details in the future if we go that direction or if we don't. Um, all of these are gonna be from the Chemical Bro. I'm gonna kind of fly through them a little quick. Rockfish Publisher now. I think that's a solid book. Uh, the Interceptor photo book, very clever. Also, nice look itself. I love those emissive lights on the Interceptor. Speaking of which, check this puppy out. I think that comes together so well. Very clean, very good makes me happy uh, I've seen a lot of people saying like this is their favorite style for the interceptor um, and I'm inclined to agree like I love the the front section of the cockpit as like especially it's just oh my gosh and uh, uh, mm, you're making me oogle over our own game like that how would how does this happen uh, but then again like look freaking uh, the chemical bro man holy cow that reflection of the shattered planet on his like super reflective ship. I can't even tell which ship it is. I don't even care. I think it's a gunship. Maybe, maybe it's a bomber. It looks like a big boy, but I mean, that is just, and you can have that type of reflection in the game. So you guys are aware, okay? Like that level of reflection is actually possible in the game. You just have to change your coloration to metallic and then uh, change the what's it called softness hardness grittiness whatever it's frick called you turn it all the way down to zero and it just becomes hyper reflective so very 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 good stuff uh another one from the chemical bro uh <laughs> having some fun at the movie theater we've got uh Alec over here we got throng we've got uh what's her name carly is it carly sharp no that's not carly sharp that's dinara that's our sister oh my gosh spoilers and she's spilling the popcorn because she didn't like the ending um, <laughs> ah! anyway, and also he took great care to list everybody else out on the, on the screen. That's pretty good. Pretty great. So having fun. I dig it. We got this one as well. Um, I think he labeled this one Batman. Um, I'm not even mad. That's, that's great. Like even the silhouette of the ship itself, it's, it, you might not be able to see from here, but he's got, it's, it's perfect. It's, well done. Well played, sir. I like your style. Uh, and then this last one, um, I feel like I wanted to show this one because I honestly think he did such a great job incorporating this, okay? I am not trying to like give my, my face even more time to shine. Um, but holy cow, look at that. Like t tonight live streaming with Eric and then puts a, a photo of like where the stream would be. Like that comes very well done. Like that looks awesome. That's so super cool. Um, I, like, he did another one of these. I didn't want to put it in because I felt like one of my faces was enough, even though you're getting two faces, whatever. Um, just absolutely solid, absolutely solid stuff. Then next we've got a couple of authentic screenshots from To Pray. These are screenshots straight up, no doctoring up whatsoever, straight out of the game state from Dupre, wanted to highlight some of his photos because it was like, holy cow, dude, amazing. So we got one here, we got one here, cruising in, love it. Last one here near the Colonial Station at the Star and Cedo. 
just brilliant. This one got a lot of love from you guys. I know I'm showing these a little bit fast. Last one I wanted to show here, planet side, showing that very perfect alignment, this geographical use of spheres. It's so great. And then the very, very last one that I wanted to show off for you guys today and talk about was Victor Mech 89, who did a really great job utilizing the gas in this area, the clouds, if you will. Yeah, it kind of has a, a strange effect, but still love how it comes through behind the asteroids looking for an item almost looks like he's scanning the environments and that is going to do it for the stream today you guys oh my gosh there's been a lot of stuff to highlight to showcase from all of you keep the memes alive they make me smile every time you guys are awesome uh, keep up the screenshots we get way too many of them to go through i had so much preparatory work to show you the vanguard and to show you more parts of zarkov i ran out of time to like cover and highlight so much like i gave a lot of attention to you in these last couple minutes there's so much more and if you want to see more you guys need to head on over to the discord discord.gg slash rockfish games head on over to the fan art section head on over to the screenshot section there is so freaking much to see there's so much i cannot even begin to cover like how much you actually get to witness uh like I'm, just, I'm like not even doing you guys justice by what I'm showing here. So be a part of our community, uh, be in conversation with us because you know, this is an early access title. We have a little less than a year still to work on it. There's a lot more content in the works. Um, and that's, that's all I got. That's all I got from here. That's all I got. So you have been awesome. Why is my screen black? Because I pushed the wrong button. You guys have been awesome. <laughs> I have been Eric Schrader, your community ambassador, your servant, your guide to all things Iberspace 2. Don't stop being awesome, and we will catch you in the next stream. Toodles!